coaches. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention in the first video. They added it, uh, a little bonus thing. Whenever you get your first one, you get two, two times the basic chest. So you get one chest, you get two chests. But they're just uh, normal chests. I want to do my, my doodle, doodle, doodle. Alright, so this game I'm going to try playing Berk. Uh, the cards I have are Capsule, Double Time, Art, what the fuck? Architectonics, uh, Forged Alloy, or sorry, that was Specialty, which is first level 1. Level 2, I have Forged Alloy, Foundation, and Velocity. Level 3, I have Bunker, Deus, e Deus Ex Machina, and Field Deploy. Fourth level, there's Targeting, Threshold, and Flame, and... Final level legendary cards are Infernal Wall, Overdrive, and Pyromancy. Uh, Special cards uh, the capsule deploys a full dome. Uh, double time allows me to have two turrets out at once and reduces turret cooldown. Uh, architectonics uh, reduces cooldown of turret by 25 seconds. Now, velocity, uh, level 2, velocity, blah, 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 blah. Velocity uh, just makes your weapon shot travel 100% faster, which I think will be useful to... Because I think his shots are kind of like slightly slower than you think they would be. So this is probably like help with the prediction, I guess you could say, of where the enemy is going to be when you shoot him. Uh, next card is Foundation. This works for Barricade and just increases it for 6 seconds and makes 6 seconds longer. Uh, forged Alloy for a turret increases turret health by 500. Level 3, I got Bunker, which just increases the barricade health. Deus Ex Machina, which I think is pretty cool. It just resummons, the turret resummons itself whenever it's destroyed. So let's say I put down one turret. <laughs> one turret. One turret, they destroy it, and it'll just come back. If I have two turrets out, it'll happen twice for those cards. And uh, Field Deploy, which is also really cool, it just instantly deploys the turret. There's no like build up stage, just like. Because whenever there's a build up stage, it's uh, vulnerable to attacks, and that's where it's mostly going to be destroyed. But if it comes up immediately, it's going to be putting out some damage like that. Right now, targeting uh, level four it increases the range of my turret fifty percent. Increases their health also, which I think I had a card that increases health. Yeah, right there. Second, second level forged alloy. That'd be an extra five, six, seven hundred health right there by level four. Be nice and beefy turrets. Uh, also have threshold is for the barricade. Target run through barricade and are dazed for five seconds. That kind of like makes them like disoriented. Or right, the last one for level four is in flame shots have a fifty percent chance to burn, dealing fifty percent of your target's maximum health over three seconds. So let's say they have, let's say it's Fernando, I'll be able to like hit him once or twice, and it's fifty percent chance to do this fifty percent of their health over three seconds. Uh, that's I'll just add up if it just like keeps applying over and over and over. Uh, there's infernal wall. Whenever uh, enemies run through, they become burned for six hundred seconds. No, that was completely wrong. <laughs> it would definitely be dead. <laughs> it's how 600 seconds. You're burned for 600 damage over 4 seconds. That is more like it. And I have Overdrive, which increases the turret attack speed. Which is good, because this is, uh... Increases the range, yeah. Range and attack speed can be like, like, bam, bam, bam. And then, uh... The last one for the legendary cards is, uh, Weapon deals 60% damage to targets that are burning. So you can kind of see I have, like, a... Uh, excuse me, like a more of a turret-oriented build there. Uh, I have the option to do some, uh, to be like, I guess you can say an ADC, a uh, basic attack champ, or I can like split it between those two with some uh, support-like things, which would be the barricade cards, which I always think is good to have some some cards that can help your team out more than yourself. Oh, hey, hey, here we go. Here we go. Let's join the match. I think Barracks is over here. Yep, there we go. Got the ghetto Barrack. Can I lock in? Uh, it's kind of weird. Sometimes you can't close it by pushing that down there, so you have to just like click the local thing. Oh, well. Let's see how this goes. Oh, 
And excuse me, I'm being so rude. I'm not even covering my mouth while I'm yawning. It's like I was raised in a barn or something. I think we have a pretty, pretty solid team. Alright, wait, hold on. What's the other team? Uh, I think... Hmm, what do I want? I want two turrets out. I think I'm gonna go with the dome. Whoops, I did not want to get off. Uh, just to go with like a little, a little safe pick of the dome. I think, I think it covers the whole, the whole uh, point. Wow, I just feel so much shorter playing as Barrack. So weird. Whereas Grok, you just kind of like have some height. Yeah, see, so it's kind of slower. Oh man, it's hard to play with Barrack. Oh man. I didn't even know he died back there. Oh, get away from me. Damn it. Man, if we had our Cassie there, she probably would have helped out a lot. But I have noticed that it does take people longer to load in than uh, others. Because I remember one time I spawned in and it was like already 40 seconds into the game. And that's like about when the game starts, I think. Because it gives you like a little bit of time to coordinate, uh, pick your cards, and all that. Yeah, let's get a little bit of turret action out. That, uh, that's, a, that's an alright turret. I think I should just kind of fall back to the base. Hear my turret doing some damage. Alright, let's see. Projectile speed, turret HP, barricade. Let's go with some projectile speed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. That is just so much better. Damn. Fucking Eevee, get out of here. Bitch. Yeah, that Eevee is going to be a problem already. What does she have? Spawn additional too. Oh my god. Crease sore. Man, oh man. You know, I've played a lot of Grok recently and just playing anyone else just feels weird. Like, as Grok, I feel like I know what I have to do to get things done. Whoa. Whoa there, boy. Yeah, we're not even like on the point. This is theirs. It's fucking Eevee though. It's always a bummer. Yeah, this this game's probably a loss. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just not used to playing Barrack. So it'll take some. It'll take some time. You know, yeah. Practice makes perfect. Even though perfect might never come. All right, let's put down a turret. Over here. Your second base is under attack. My goodness. Man, Evie's just having is just having her way with me, dude. A ruckus, what is he? What's he doing? What? 
Let's see the oh fuck I didn't think about that. All right, let's go with turret to resurrect. Damn, son. All right, we got one. We got one. That's good. That's good. That's good. Making progress. Man, you didn't need that. All right. I think... I don't even know what I'm doing right now as Barrett, dude. I'm just, like, picking cards. You... Turd. I, I was pushing three. God damn it. Man, oh man. Are we gonna get it? Yeah, I think we got it. Come on, just uh, hit the thing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. Enemy Penta. God, dude, that EV. 114% damage boost. It's crazy. Crazy, man. Is it? Why is there any mountain? I have a feeling that he's a new player. That, that is, uh, what I'm feeling. Yes. There will always be enemies behind us. Forever and always. Uh oh, I don't know what that was. Yeah, they got it. That was a pretty fast one. I feel, I feel like it was a pretty fast one. But, um, I don't know. I just feel like... I feel like Berk isn't the one for me. Uh, I'm gonna do another one as Berk. But I'll do another one in the next video. So I'll catch you guys then.